I start worrying, there'll be no end to it. I take another deep breath. And Lotus Juice's music starts playing in my head. I know already that the red fog filled in the area isn't poisonous at first blush. I did consider that the enemy might be employing an airborne toxin, but the whole town is covered in this stuff, and there's no way to move about while still avoiding it. Still, it may be best to try not to breathe it in to the extent I can avoid it. Huh? Now, Dukun? Huh? I'm thrown for a loop of being called to out of the blue. I was so lost in thought that my reaction is slightly delayed. Chie Senpai. Is that you? Hmm? Nope. Uh huh. Why? Thank goodness you're safe. What about the others? How should it's I? It's not know? her at all. Got nothing to do with me. A cheerful answer, the tone of which sounds like Chie Senpai's usual self, but her actual words ring a warning bell in my mind. The senses seem untampered with. From which I take it that you are not Chie Senpai. Who are you? <laughs> Little old me. I'm Chie Satanaka. The line of fake one. Based on the real cheer. Her shadow! I see. So you make no effort to hide your true nature. And what are your intentions? What a foolish question, even for me. The town was covered in the strange red fog shortly after the disappearance of Mitsuritsan and her people, and now a false Chie Senpai, identical to the real thing, stands before me. I have no inkling as to the enemy's goals, but it is at least apparent that they expect to fight us in order to accomplish them. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I came to fight you. Are you? Rather, is the culprit who created you the same one who seized Lavras? Or is it an accomplice of his? I want information right now. Even if what stands before me is an imitation, it is honestly answering me this much. I felt that it would be smarter to draw out as much information from it as possible. <laughs> you really are sharp, aren't you, now, Dukun? But who cares about any of that? Persona! So much for your information. What? A familiar shadow takes form behind the fake Chie Senpai. Impossible. As close as these fakes are, they are not the genuine article, yet not only was this one able to summon the same persona that Chie Senpai uses, it did so in the real world? What in the world is going on here? After dodging the attack, I jump back and draw the gun at my side. This is no illusion. That was a heavy strike, with considerable weight behind it. Seems the circumstances Bring down the ring! What sort of scheme is unfolding now? Uh oh! Solving that is supposed to be the detective style. If you don't hurry and get ready, you'll get yourself hurt. So you have no intention of providing answers. Very well. Oh, it is only a goon after all. Ah, General Teddy. Ooh, now that's our now job. It's so convenient for us that you catch on quick. Is that General Teddy? You understand without me having to explain, right? Thanks for participating in the P1 Climax. Well, of course. Now then, on to Nam John's first round. Obviously, this is a serious battle with nowhere to run. Bring down the ring! Uh, by the way, Mick John and the others you're looking for were smushed and captured by me, General Teddy. In other words, if you keep winning in the tournament, you might be able to save them! Might. Though I consider this as a possibility, I can't help but furrow my brow at General Tay's words. So Mitsuru-san and her team were indeed captured. The Shadow operatives are professionals when it comes to Shadow-related matters, so if our opponent captured them so easily, then we can clearly cannot afford to underestimate him. Oh, and you can use your persona too now. Well then, bring on the ring! Yes, bring on the ring! Immediately after the fake cry, red pillars appear in midair surrounding us. They swiftly fall and bang themselves into the ground. So this is the ring, this time. I can surmise the basic rules. It's fair to say invisible walls stretch between the pillars, and I will not be able to proceed until the match is completed. In which case, there's only one option open to me. It seems I haven't time to waste, 
so I won't bother holding back. Persona! Here we go. Right! That's the Nazi who I know! That means it's even more fun crushing you! I wouldn't be so certain. You can never win against me. Now I wonder how Naruto plays, because once again, I haven't played as most of the cast. <laughs> I played as you, Adachi, and show in arcade mode and I briefly played as Marie what okay no way I like Naruto as well. Maybe it's getting better at the game. Honestly, that's very possible. Let's see what her super is. I like it. Oh, it inflicts um poison. Yes, that was awesome. The uh, persona was almost broken again. Cut that really close. Oh, I lost. Well, I guess that's enough. enough. As I said, you cannot win against me. Our forms can be mimicked, but you can never replicate our inner drive. It was strong. Though I wore a brave face to intimidate my opponent, I put one foot wrong and could have been me who was defeated. For some reason, I feel much more exhausted than I remember being the case when I would fight inside the TV world. Is it because of my opponent's abilities or this is a setup? There is a mighty cracking sound and the red pillars to the four sides of me shatter. I have evidently emerged a victor without any problems and gained the right to proceed. Yeah, there's something up with these plumes of dusk. It's like using their life energy or something. As that happens, a false chase senpai begins to disintegrate before my eyes. It must have been created by tampering with the shadow. What is that? What appear to be grains of light float up from the rapidly dissolving fake. They form a ribbon of light, drawing an arc in the air, and drift away in a particular direction as if drawn to something. Thinking back upon the battle, I believe I saw similar grains of light whenever my persona and the fakes would clash. What are they? Could they be fragments of something? When I follow the light with my eyes, I can scarcely believe what I see. There is an enormous and bizarrely shaped structure which has no place in a rural town or anywhere else in the real world. Is that the hill where Yasugami High is? The orbs of light are gathering there. Something's off. The opponent's methods are different from Labrys' case. They're challenging us head on now. The selling aspects of this case are the red fog enveloping the real world, a giant tower atop Yasugami High, the grains of light that appear in battle, and this strange exhaustion I feel. Suddenly, something pops into my mind. Those documents I obtained from public safety, one of them detailed a past case involving Mitsuru-san's team involving a giant tower that only appeared during a special period of time. If I recall correctly, it was called Tartarus. That aberrant tower was built to call for something monstrous. Is it possible that... Yeah, they're trying to bring on the fall. What is this case intending to... Whoa! Now is not yet the time. <laughs> Impossible. This was unlike my encounter with the false Chie Senpai. I was paying close attention to my surroundings. Yet this man suddenly appeared behind me as if from thin air. Naoto Shirogane, you will be making your exit here. Die. What the hell? A clear voice pierces the red fog, and the next sound that reaches my ears. So it seems to be a blade slicing the air. Who's gonna save her? Kanji? Well, we don't get to find out yet.
Or we do. Ah. Uh, so now it's like, do you follow the story with Naoto and Sho? Or do you follow the story of you and Adachi? And well, since this is higher up, we're going to go back to Adachi. There's no doubt about it. As we go down the fog filled hallway, we see a man we're very familiar with. We can hardly forget his face. No way. Why is it Dachi son? Could he be a fake? A huh? fake? Oh, right. I forgot about that whole thing going on. <laughs> that friendly smile, joking manner, and contemptuously nonchalant laugh. There's no doubt about this is the Dachi son we know, why but why? Are you here? <laughs> well, I had intended on staying well behaved, but someone begged me to help out, and you know, I'm not the kind of guy who can say no to something like that. Help out? You mean that show guy? Hmm? Have you guys already met? Oh man. That doesn't matter. So he's working he's with show? This time too. Ah uh, well, what do you think? Don't play dumb. If I don't like your answer, there'll be boot prints all over your face. Ah, uh, who cares about all that? Come on, aren't you kids in serious trouble right now? What with all the world ending and all? So you are! You guys really like sticking your heads into dangerous situations, don't you? You don't gain anything in life from doing that, you know? Adachi-san, you said you would abide by the rules of this world. So why are you here? Rules. Rules, eh? Don't you understand how the real world is in trouble because of show? This isn't like the TV world, where only we were involved. Oh, man. I see you never learn. The <laughs> only reason I took that brat up on his invitation was because I was bored. Of course. All the questions Thought he's so cool, after, man. What's gonna happen to this town? I don't give a damn about any of it. This world's what full of say? shit. Dutch, you lousy... Whoa, whoa, give me a break. I don't intend to get involved with kids like you anymore. Like, I bet you're honestly abiding by the rules here, because that's how you think. The rules here? You know, the one-on-one -on -one stuff. You don't even know what's gonna happen because of that. Honestly, brats like you barely even think. Yeah, there's definitely something that's wrong going with that. I mean, I it's obvious. Saying, if you keep fighting them on their own terms, it could bite you in the ass. I bet he's collected quite a lot of those Persona fragments by now. Persona fragments? <laughs> Huh? Huh? My hazy scattered thoughts all come together when I hear what Adachi-san has to say. We've been vaguely watching those light particles fly up to the top of the tower, but are those what Sho was after? Could it be that the reason Sho sent the rules to make us fight one-on-one -on -one was to give off more of those particles, persona fragments according to Adachi-san, during the constant fighting? So maybe it's not a, a pool of dust. Him? Oh man, you really hadn't noticed? You need to get your act together. What the hell? Out of the blue, the distorted school building creaks with a loud noise. The jarring sound echoes in the depths of the red fog like an animal's growl. What was that just now? Hmm? Looks like there's no more time left. Earlier than I expected. Well, that's why I need to get going. Good luck to you, I guess. Oh, and... Your friends who got caught, they might be in trouble if you leave them be, you know? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? You it better means hurry up. just what it sounds like. Then again, I guess it might be impossible for just you three. <laughs> He's so insane. Naki's like the coolest character in this game. Wait, who? <laughs> Adachi-san turns his back on us and, and disappears into the red fog. Yosuke tries to go after him, but he slams straight into an invisible wall that looked like it hurt. I hope he's okay. It's only then that I realize we're already surrounded on all sides by red pillars. What? Uh, you okay, Yosuke? This actually hurts more than you think. I mean, when did these get set up? How much longer are you gonna make me wait? You better entertain me at the very least. Akihiko! 